Oh, I didn't see you there. Thanks for joining us today on Job Shadowing. My name's OB, and we're here on the Labor and Delivery Unit. You see, I work the night shift, so I start my shift by going to Unit Report in the break room, which is here. At, and then after that, I go to the bedside to report for the day shift nurse and the patient I'm going to be receiving. Depending on my patient's progress of labor, um, I will either do my full head-to-toe assessment or do a more focused assessment and start getting things ready for delivery. Sometimes I can start my shift by prepping a patient for a cesarean section, taking over as a circulating nurse in the OR, starting a recovery on a patient in the PACU, taking over care on a, la a laboring patient, planning a vaginal delivery, helping assist with an epidural, taking a preeclampsia patient, or carrying a preterm patient that we are actually trying to keep pregnant. Then I, of course, end the shift with bedside report to the oncoming shift in the morning. So simply how I start is I, I help the mothers throughout the various stages of the birthing process, and I help with the delivery of babies as well as the care for newborns. I assess the patient throughout the labor process with cervical exams and update the provider on the progress. I support the mother by educating her on what's to come, giving her reassurance throughout, as well as the family members. I also coach her on how and when to push. That's the most important part. I am also an advocate for the patient and try to give her the labor and birthing plan she desires. And I typically work between 37 to 52 hours a week. Talk about tired. Alrighty, well our first patient we're going to see is currently in delivery process. Um, her and her husband are very anxious. It's their first child and also the sister is present. So, are you ready? Hi Peggy, how are you doing in here? Not good. We yes. have a lot of questions. You do? Alright, well give them to me. Why? How'd you choose this? Like, how'd you get here? Well. I've always been interested in OB, and I think it honestly came from just being a woman and having a love for babies. So I also want to share in this moment with you, it's such a precious moment when you are becoming your first time mom and your first time dad, so I want to be here to share in that. Okay. Um, are you even certified? Because my sister here is her first time giving birth, and I just want to make sure that everything goes okay for her. Well, you see, I am certified. The qualifications for this position require you to have your registered nurse license, preferably with your bachelor's degree. I'm also required to be certified in basic life support, advanced cardiac life support, neonatal resuscitation program, and certified in fetal monitoring. And I have all those requirements. Okay, then we should be good. So, like, what skills and personal attributes are most important for being successful in your job? I think one of the most important skills to have in this career field is adaptability. This is an ever-changing environment and you can never know how quickly a normal vaginal delivery can turn into an emergency. Can she get some water? Sure thing. Here you are. So really you just have to be on your toes as a, a labor and delivery nurse and be supportive and help the family as best as you can. Another important personal attribute to have in this area of nursing would be patience. You're spending your shift with women who are experiencing more pain than she's ever felt in her entire life. As no. you can say. No. It's okay. You're not giving birth. <laughs> As a nurse, we must help talk to the patient through position changings, breathing techniques, and epidurals to help alternate this pain. One more important skill to have in this position is to be strong with communication. You must be able to explain everything that is going to happen in the labor process to the patient, especially to a first-time mother in your case. Do you have any questions in that that we've gone over before, or do you think you're ready? I don't know. <laughs> well, I'll be here all the, all the way through it, okay? So I'm just going to check to see how far you're dilated. <laughs> all right, you're only four centimeters. What do I need to be? You need to be at ten. Oh, God. <laughs> just relax. Practice those breathing techniques that we talked about, and I'll be back to check on you in a little bit, okay? All right. Hang in there, Peggy. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to do some charting now, but if you have any questions that you want to ask, go ahead. So what do you enjoy the most about your job and position, and what do you personally find most satisfying? 
What I enjoy most about my job is getting to be there during the most important and intimate moments in people's lives. Um, there is nothing more satisfying than seeing the joy of people becoming a family and knowing that you helped to get them to this point. Generally, the patients who take care of you take care of in labor and deliver, delivery are very appreciative and thankful for the care that we provide them and express their gratitude. I consider myself very lucky to help bring new life into this world. And what do you enjoy the least about your job and position? Um, what I find least enjoyable about my job is taking care of intrauterine fetal demise patients and comfort care babies. I think being comfortable with death is something many nurses struggle with, and when it is a baby, I find it very difficult. Taking care of these patients can be emotionally draining, and it is not common for tears to be shed. Sometimes it is hard to be supportive and strong for your patient when your heart breaks for their own loss. In labor and delivery, the good days are really good, but the bad days are really bad. And what is the most challenging part of your job? Um, for me, the most challenging part of this position is the anxieties and the stressors that come with the job. I sometimes struggle knowing the outcome of this newborn and mother are partially in my hands. I need to have more confidence in my skills and critical thinking when it comes to the care of my own patients. Having talked to my coworkers, I think this is a struggle for many new labor and delivery nurses. Um, I have been in this position for almost a year now, but I still struggle with the confidence. They have told me that confidence comes with experience, and I do feel more and more confident each day I spend at work. Cool. Do you have anything else to add? Um, not right now. Alrighty, I'm just going to finish this up, and we better go check on Peggy again. Yeah. Alright, Peggy, how are we doing in here? Let's go again. <laughs> I'm just going to take a peek. Let's see how far you got. Oh, Peggy, it looks like it's time to start pushing, but... I don't know if you're going to like this news. It looks like you're having twins. Twins? Oh, Jim. Oh, Jim, what is he good for? Nothing. Are you ready, Peggy? The no. first one's coming. I'm not. Ah. What advice would you give someone who's interested in your field? Well, I would tell them to get as much experience as they can before becoming a labor delivery nurse. It is an intense environment. Oh no, the other one's ah! great! <laughs> wah, wah. Having background knowledge in time management, as well as being able to develop your nursing skills before transitioning to this field, can really help you be successful in this position. Here comes ah! the other one! Ah! Oh, oh my sister! <laughs> I think having experience in a different field will be very beneficial to keep you from feeling overwhelmed, especially for a new grad. Congratulations! What did you name them? Well, you see, I wasn't prepared for twins. But now that I got the opportunity, I decided to name them after me. This one's Little Teddy. Oh. And this one's Baby E. They're beautiful. Thank you. Jim over there. <laughs> oh. You missed the bird. I'm so sorry. Twins! Oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. As newly parents, we just had a couple of questions left. As you reflect on your basic nursing education, is there anything in particular that prepared you for your current role? In my nursing education, what prepared me most for my current role was my basis in medical surgical nursing. These pregnant patients come in with many secondary diagnoses and having a strong medical surgical background definitely helps me put the big picture together when taking care of complex patients. Can you provide a specific example that illustrates the importance of the role? I think a specific example of the importance of the role of the labor nurse would be our role as a patient supporter. Um, I had recently taken care of a teenage mother in which the father of the baby was not involved. Not only did I play the role of her nurse, but I was also her primary support system. In these circumstances, I try to be at the bedside as much as possible. Labor can be scary for someone who's had several babies and with multiple support persons. Being a young teenage mother all alone can be terrifying for the patient. In these instances, I try to be as reassuring and calming as I possibly can. Is there anything else you would like to tell us about your role? My role as a labor and delivery nurse has given me some of my most challenging yet rewarding experiences as a nurse. 
It is not an easy job to do, but it is one that I wouldn't exchange for anything. Thank you for being a part of Ted and Eve and Lisa Strange. So, You're welcome. Um, I noticed that like this is definitely my child, but I don't think that's my baby. <laughs> requirements of becoming a labor and delivery nurse. What is the hardest part of the job as a labor delivery nurse? Lastly, what is the most rewarding part of being a labor and delivery nurse? Great job today. Thanks for job shadowing me as a labor and delivery nurse. OB is out. Sorry, this thing has a three, two, one. I didn't know that. Oh, Jim, what is he good for? Nothing. <laughs> I could get my it's still going. Are you ready? The first one's coming out. I'm oh. <laughs> What advice would you give someone who's interested in your field? Well, <laughs> I would tell them to get as much experience as... Oh. Now that we're newly parents, uh, I, we just have a couple of questions for you. Um, as you reflect on your... <laughs> Stop laughing! <laughs>